I am Callie. And I'm Justin. And I'm Mario Perez. Today I'm going to tell you all about why we need to limit the amount of technology that our youth consumes. I'm going to start off with a story about my brother who is now 18 years old. Whenever I was growing up as a young kid, I lived to be outside. I would ride my bike to friend's house, walk to friend's house, play football, basketball. I was constantly outside. My brother, on the other hand, is never outdoors. He would rather stay inside all day, play on his phone, his computer, his video game console. He absolutely hates the fact of being outside. Another thing that I see today is parents giving their children and their toddlers a tablet, an iPad, a phone to keep them distracted. It does keep them distracted in the immediate time. They do stay quiet and stay preoccupied while they're having this device, playing on it and watching videos. But I don't think the parents realize the impact that the technology on these kids are having at a young age. I'm gonna start off with the main point of body image and mental health. Dr. Joshua Isseri reported that 95% of our youth have access to smartphones. This is almost 100% of our youth have a smartphone or have access, but this is just smartphones. Today, schools are using computers to access textbooks and to get their schoolwork done. Not many schools are using paper anymore. It is all through Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Another big thing is influencers and the impact that they have on the youth. These influencers are making examples for these kids and these children are looking up to these influencers. They're striving to be like them. However, these influencers are using Photoshop and altering their bodies to make their waist smaller or make their muscles look bigger. Our youth is striving to become this image of the person they look up to. However, they don't realize that this image is unachievable, that the image they see online is fake. It is not what the actual person looks like in real life. This could ultimately lead to mental health issues such as depression. They spend months or years trying to become this person that they've looked up to for so long. However, they will never achieve it because it is a fake image. A main problem our youth faces today are the lack of social skills. The National Library of Medicine reported that teens spend about six and a half hours a day on technology, while tweens spend about four and a half hours a day on technology. If we think about it, these children are going to school and using technology all throughout the day. A normal school day is around eight hours, and then they're getting home and using more technology. Their whole day is filled with nothing but screen time, very little face-to-face -face interaction. They're lacking the social skills that could be there without the use of technology. My brother, for example, got a job interview call a few months ago. I've never heard anyone answer the phone saying what. The amount of times that he said, uh, was insane. He has no social skills when it comes to talking in a professional manner. When he talks to someone face to face, he will either freeze up or just stop talking or have a bad stutter problem. His anxiety rises through the roof when it comes time to talk face to face. Another big thing that our youth is facing today is childhood obesity. The CDC reported that 19.7% of the youth in the U.S. has childhood obesity. This is because of the lack of exercise that our children are now getting. Our children would much rather stay inside, play on their phones, play on their video games, or play on their computers rather than going outside. So much as walking to a friend's house, riding a bike to a friend's house, or even throwing a football around in the front yard, 
is a tremendous amount of exercise for children. Now that technology runs our children's world, they no longer want to be outside. They would much rather be inside, staring at a screen, which has ultimately led to childhood obesity. One of the biggest fact, one of the biggest things that our children face today as well is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is just like bullying. However, it's through a screen, through text messages, videos, fake accounts, and a way to hurt someone else. StopBullying.gov reported that 16% of children in the grades nine through 12 have reported cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is easier today because you can easily say something mean through a text message. You can say something hurtful through a message. It is no longer a face-to-face -face interaction. You can type out what you want to say and send it to this person. The consequences are far less, the risks are far less of getting caught rather than being bullied face-to-face. A big thing are fake accounts. Children are now making fake accounts to make a fun of someone else or belittle someone else. This has also led to mental health issues such as suicide. Cyberbullying is a big thing in our youth technology use today. If it wasn't for the use, the wide abundance of technology that our youth has, cyberbullying it would be at a far lower number and quite possibly childhood suicide rates. Today I went over body image, childhood obesity, social skills, and cyberbullying. These are all big things when it comes to thinking about the impact that technology has on today's youth. These are all things that can easily be avoided if we limited the amount of technology that our youth consumes today. If we could get our children back outside throwing a football or riding a bike, these things could be eliminated or brought at a far lower number. We need to limit the amount of technology that our youth consumes. Technology has had great impacts on today's youth. The abundance, however, has led to more negative factors rather than positive factors. Does the audience have any questions? No. Um, so you're saying limit the amount. Do you, do you have a suggestion on what the limit should be? I think if we limit our use technology that we should only give it to them when needed. My mom, for example, whenever I was growing up, she would only let me play on our video game consoles or our computers on the weekends. I think that was a very smart idea if we made our children focus on school during the week and make technology more of a privilege rather than something that is just expected of them, like it's a normal. Any other questions? No. Thank you.